Steven here, welcome to another episode of Squidians and Bungons. This is episode 3, I am Slippery Squid, and I'm being joined by... Hello, hello guys. You sure? <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> let the story begin. You wake up from your, um, not intended nap, and you find yourself... Off the coast of a random shoreline. As you look around you, you notice in front of you, you find the mystery man standing there eating your salad that he stole from you. And then he looks at you and he's like, oh, uh, 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 he starts running uh, away. What do you do? Uh, well, I have a staff and I kind of have a bunch of spells. Wait, did you say you have a shoreline? Yeah. Water pulse. Well, I literally just threw something, and I perfectly landed. I'm gonna pick up something real quick, one sec. You water- you water pulse him, but he's too far away. It doesn't work. What do you do? Cap! Cap! You're, he's cap. too far- he can- he's really strong. He can run away really fast. Uh, fireball! You're, you're still out of range. He got- he gets slightly- Fine, like, run after him. I don't know. You, yeah, you were standing still! Why, why aren't you running? Why aren't you- well, okay, you start chasing him. Cue the epic chasing music. <laughs> you have to you jump. You have to jump over a few. You you have. You find a bunch of obs. Op, what, what you, you find a bunch of obstacles in your way. You find a bunch of obstacles in your way that he's he's been placing. He's been knocking over rocks. Trees have been falling down. What do you do? Do, 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 oh, should I stop the chasing music? Yeah, I would assume! Okay, okay, um... What do you do? I try to attack him? What, what do you think? No, no he's throwing... The o there's obstacles, you're gonna get hurt! Okay, I fireball the obstacles! He rolled a one! He was get smacked by a, by a rock! A rock smacks you! You slow down a tiny bit! What do you do? Wait, how much speed does Mystery Man have? Like 30, I guess. Oh, I have 15. What do you, you do? You have Mystery Man stats. After. You find Mystery Man just kind of waiting for you, just kind of on it. Uh, he's on a treadmill doing literally nothing that he found in the wild. Alright, so I, I He's just exercising. I'm trying to chase him, so yeah. He notices you and continues the search. He knocks over a tree. It's falling. You're right under it. What do you do? Maybe get out of the way. You gotta assume. Let me see. You roll the four. You get a splinter. Minus 0.5 damage. Which I'm gonna add. You're at 36.5 HP. Why? <laughs> you know what? Since you complained, it's 36.3. No! It's not even now. No! Anyway, um, oh my god, he's like, wow, how did you even do? In his mind, you don't hear this. <laughs> you, you, uh, bread dog and funny rat, funny rat's riding on top of bread dog, and the bread dog's trying to get to you. What do you do? <laughs> I chase after the mystery man. <laughs> you leave bread dog and funny rat behind. They are exhausted and trying to run towards you. Oh, by the way, um. Mystery Man pulls out a 2019 Chevy Silverado, which, ex what? which exists in his world, and he grabs from his inventory, and he starts beep beeping away. How can you find the 2019 Chevy Silverado in your inventory? In his inventory, you don't know what his inventory. You don't know what his inventory looks like. You're not. You're not Mystery Man, which is what? his name. It's not actually, but that's that. You don't know that. Um, what? I'm. Let me drink some water. <laughs> okay, so he pulls out the exhaust fumes are all in your face. What do you do? I think I have an idea, but I'm not gonna tell you. Then they go find Bread Dog and Funny Rat. No, they 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 kind of they caught up while I was explaining. Oh, <laughs> you see the gas. You take note of the gas coming out of the car. What do you do? Drink it. 
You can't. Do you have- maybe one of your, uh, attacks could work well. Okay, come on. I've taken a bite out of a bush, alright? I can- I can eat gas, alright? <laughs> you <laughs> cough a lot. I- I have licked a rock before. That doesn't matter, you can't- Okay, anyway, you take note of the ga- the, the- of the flammable gases coming out of the car. What do you do? Breathe it in. No! <laughs> you know what? You rolled a five! You- you- got- You successfully did it. Bread Dog grabs your, uh, Duckington staff, waves it around, and goes, Meow, meow. I'm joking. No! <laughs> the dog. And he goes, dog. He goes, woof, woof, like 17 times. It's like particle accelerator. Woof. And a fireball, it, the ga the flammable gas ignites on the car, which I clearly said it was flammable. The car oh. blows up, and Mystery Man, out of desperation, grab somehow he has the less funny rat, which... Is that even in your inventory? Less Funny Rat isn't in there, so... I don't know where he got it, but he has Less Funny Rat. And he... Oh, he's back! Less Funny Rat is back! He throws it at you, but since he's less funny, you only, like, black out for, like, two seconds. And, uh, you wake up again. What do you do? Throw the Funny Rat at him! You throw the Funny Rat at the air, it doesn't do anything. You can't find him. Maybe you should Ew. go. Maybe you should go observing for him. Yeah, I'm gonna go inspect the bush for him. You, as you look at the bush, that's completely unrelated. Not like any footprints or anything. A little stupid round bird thing comes out. It has like tiny little flappy bird wings, stupid face with no brain cells, and you see it just flutters around, going like. Oh, completely unrelated. Yesterday I saw a bug in the ba in the bathroom who was just spinning. <laughs> like he just like he just went up to the ceiling and just started spinning in circles. He didn't even move. He just started spinning. By the way, Bread Dog got uh, caught up to you while I, while you were talking about that. Oh, okay. You have no idea who you're talking to. Just talking to you, Cannon stuff. He's why Bread Dog just like why are you looking up at the sky? Um, I'm the player character. I can do whatever I want. I don't. I don't even speak English. I mean, uh. anyways, the little stupid bird thing, as it goes up to you, it flutters onto your shoulder, which it's kind of heavy. He's like basketball size. What? And he goes. It's a honk. Right into your ear. Quackling? Honk. That's a quackling. Oh yeah, I got it! Oh my god! Minus 5.2 damage! <coughs> You're at 31.1 HP! Oh my god, why does the conk do damage? Is it really like that loud? It's right in your ears. Oh. And oh, also, yeah, so, oh my god, I'm so excited to draw the quack links in the phone down! Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> it's like a car horn right in your ear. What does the quackling like even look like? Stupid, round, uh, tiny wings, tiny feet, tiny beak. Honk, honk! So it's literally just a sphere duck. Yeah, it was a little puff of hair. Feathers. It's a sphere! Oh As you God, go I to just, touch it, I, you... I normally draw ducks like a sphere. I As you go to touch it, it you realize that it's like 95% fur feathers. Just you reach into just... it, and the actual body is like golf ball sized. Oh, by the way, just a suggestion for the series. In any episode of Squiddians and Bun Guns, we need to go into a bowling alley, and the bowling balls have to be crackling. <laughs> I want to bowl quacklings, alright? I just, I see them. As soon as okay. I thought of the quackling, like, I was just like, I see bowling alley. I don't know why. Wow, um. <laughs> is the anyways, a bunch of quacklings <laughs> notice something, all with their <laughs> seven cents, which quacklings have, and they all run to a certain area. What do you do? Uh, go with them. Okay. Alright, no. so I pick up that first, I pick up that quack. You equip him. In my ear. I put him in my allies. No, he's in your inventory. 
Why? Because <laughs> I make the rules. No, come on. It's a good ally. He doesn't do anything. He just honks. Yeah, but he does damage when he honks. <laughs> yeah, only to you. No, I'm putting him in my, in my allies. Too bad. <laughs> I won't. You can't attack with him, though. What? <laughs> nope. He's an ally, but he doesn't do anything. Well, the tortilla turtle doesn't do anything. No, he can bite. I just never told you. What? Anyways. I thought you could only throw him. Anyways, quack sling Q, uh, Q-U-A-X sling. Um, anyways. Alali! I put alali on accident. Anyways. Hold up, hold up. How do you spell the quack sling thingy? Q-U-A-X sling. Quack sling? Mm -hmm. That's not how you spell it. No, I make the rules. Anyways. You can see You noticed a nice coastal village that you ha- that was right in front of you somehow. Turn left in 15 feet. Um... <laughs> You find it bustling with these creatures called tide folk, which are basically just slippery squid. If slippery squid was an actual oh, squid, I see. I see. I'm not gonna make slippery squid a character in this no, village. Like, They're just don't. actual octopuses that wear yeah, hats. The they wear hats and put ties. You're not even a squid. That's not even a squid. That's an octopus. Yeah, they wear ties and stuff and hats. Ties. They also <laughs> wear shoes on their eight eight babies. Why ties? They, they're really stylish. They're all they're all so oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway. You ask, the most you ask around the locals if you've seen anybody named Mystery Man. And you find no luck. You turn left in 13 feet and find a crazy little guy being like, <laughs> They speak English except that one. What do you do? Um, yeah, I don't exactly know what to do in this situation. He walks up to you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had something you throw. Were you, uh, were you talking, uh, I heard you talking about a, a man that passed through. I think I know a guy that's seen him. What? <laughs> yeah, he went over that way. Okay, I guess. As you walk towards the area, you find a little sailor dude. Like, he's kind of fat, but don't say that. He wore a sailor hat, and he's like, Uh, hey, what, what's up? What's up? Does he not say, like, Yar, shiver me timbers or something? <laughs> no, he says, Y'all, what's up? You find a bunch of pirates in the back. Pirates in the back? He got the pirates in the back. Copyrighted music. Wait, yeah. I, I, just wanna, I just wanna know where are we? Um, like, what's our surroundings? What's the environment? Coastal town next to a jungle. Coastal town and jungle. Yeah. So are we gonna go in the jungle anytime? You just kinda did. <laughs> oh, I- Oh, so the coastal You were chasing town Mystery is... Man, like, the whole time. Also, we're running- In the jungle. Also, I'm trying to keep up the pace because of the time limit. Ah. <laughs> yeah, no. We can make the time limit any I know. I just keep- I just think it's funny how every single episode has been the same. Roughly. Anyways. So, you find the guy with the pirates in the back that he doesn't- he tells you not to talk to them. And he tells you, if- if he go- if you go buy groceries for him, then he'll let- he'll let you, uh, he'll let you board a ship. He saw- uh, I forgot to explain. He saw- what, what does he want me to get from the grocery He saw Mystery Man go on a boat and head out to the nearest ocean, and- yeah, he says his grocery list contains, let's see, what does it contain? Oh, there it is. Cheese, fish, ham, diet ham, sugar-free ham, bacon, vegetable mix, spices, salt, ground sugar, and almond water. What? Hold on, let me just write that down real quick. Oh yeah, cheese, fish, ham, diet ham, sugar-free ham, bacon, vegetable mix, spices, salt, ground sugar. Hold on, cheese, fish, ham, diet ham, what? Sugar-free ham. Bacon, vegetable mix, spices and salt, ground sugar, almond water. Bolded. 
molded almond water? Yeah, bolded. Not typed it, but just like bolded it. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyways, as you're doing that, you uh you walk through the town looking for the grocery store, and you find the building with a giant floating sign that says grocery store in a giant concrete sign that's being supported by one block in the middle. Without a reference. What? Giant rectangular green building called grocery store with a giant sign with no supporting beams saying uh, grocery store. Oh yeah, that's totally not a reference. So like anything. Alright, um Alright, so uh, I asked the guy there if they have cheese, fish, ham, diet ham, sugar free ham. Bacon, oh, okay. veggie mix, spices, salt, ground sugar, and almond water. Uh, let me just check. Okay. Cheese is on aisle one, fish is on aisle one. Ham is on aisle one. Diet ham is on aisle two. Sugar free ham is on aisle three. Bacon's on aisle 1847. Um, what? Vegetable mix is on aisle negative three. Um, spices and salts, they're on aisle 53 and 68. Ground sugar's on um, number 53 seven. 53 and 68? Yeah. Um, Ground sugar is on 70, which comes right after 68, and they don't sell almond water at the moment. It's kind of forbidden. That's a problem. Yeah, okay, but I can you repeat the aisles? Okay, uh, cheese, fish, and ham are on aisle one. Diet uh, ham is on aisle two. Sugar-free ham is on aisle 1,743. Bacon, 1743. Bacon is on aisle uh, negative 30. Vegetable mix is 53. Uh, spices and salt are on 54 and 68. Right next to 68, there's ground sugar, which is on 70. And almond water is forbidden in the store. Uh, are you uh, seriously right, writing uh, this down? That's a, that's a pretty good shopping mix. Can I see uh, what you wrote down? Alright, should I just, uh, share it to you? Yeah, yeah, just, just, just screen share, I just wanna see. Oh, okay. I just really wanna see this. Uh, this is, uh, interesting shopping list. Cheese, fish, ham, diet, ham, sugar, ham, negative 30, and 53, 54, 68, right next to it, 70, and all the water is forbidden in the store. Yep. Okay, well that is an interesting doc, okay. Yes. <laughs> it's an interesting dog. You go I to- I wonder if any of my other friends see this and they'll be like, what? Anyways, I- uh, So you head to aisle one first. And, uh, let's see. Uh, what do you look for in aisle one? Uh, cheese, fish, and ham. You find cheese and fish. Maybe you should check the next aisle for ham. What? You find cheese and fish. Maybe look at the next aisle for ham. Cheese and uh, fish acquired. What do you do? All right, that's a, that's good. What do you do next? Uh, well, ham is supposed to be in the same aisle. Uh, aisle. So you look in the same one again? Yeah. You find ham that originally wasn't there five seconds ago. Okay. Well, uh, I found it. What do you do next? Where do you go? Uh, aisle two. What are you looking for? Diet ham. You find no diet ham, but you find sugar-free ham. Oh, I thought that was an aisle! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh... Well, I try to find diet ham again. Okay. You find diet ham in the next aisle. Somebody... Oh, okay. What do you so do? since the next closest aisle is 53, I guess I'll go to 53. Don't well, no, you have to walk through all the aisles. Let's see, uh, let's see. So how do I get to aisle negative 30? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Anyway. Is like in the opposite dimension? Oh, uh, let me just... Oh, uh, you, you get really tired by the time you get to 53. You're old one. What do you do? Find the veggie mix. You find it. Nice. Uh, what do you go next? <laughs> then I'll go find the spices and salt in 54 through 68. You find half of a spice and half of a salt bag. Uh, can I find the other half? Oh, <laughs> maybe you should check the next aisle. Okay, check the next aisle. Okay. 
Well, what aisle number is that? Well, I can't believe we were gonna waste like 10 minutes of this. Yeah, episode. what aisle number? Quick! What aisle number? What? What aisle number? 55. You find it. Uh, what aisle uh, do you want to go to next? 70. 70, okay. You couldn't hear the rolling, but you rolled a four, so you find three fourths. You find a bag with three fourths of the amount it would usually have. But you don't know that. Huh. Um, wait, what aisle do you go to next? Uh, negative 30. Okay. Um, you find negative 29, but you don't <laughs> you don't find the next aisle. The next aisle is negative 31. Huh. Maybe you should go for the thousand. Okay, then I'll just, I guess I'll try to find bacon in these aisles. Okay. You don't find it. Maybe you should go to 1,743. Alright, let's go. The building extends, like, the, it, it, when you, no, 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 it doesn't extend, but when you walk into the building, it's way bigger than it looks. Um, uh, that one you rolled, device. okay, you go in a shopping cart, and the new device, the shopping cart pusher upper 5000, pushes you all the way to the aisle, um, and wow. you find, you don't find it, maybe you should go check aisle negative 30. You said it could Okay, fine, I'm gonna make up 30. You use the same machine, but it runs out of batteries halfway, so you have to walk. Which you get, um, uh, minus 10 stamina, which you don't have. And you reach the aisle, and you find, uh, aisle negative 30, and you find the two items you were looking for. Uh, what about almond water? You find a crazy dude drenched in almond water. You can tell. Wait, and he's like, I have a bucket of almond milk. Oh, almond milk. <laughs> Wait. I thought it was all. Wait, I, I just want to remember this from the first episode. I got that bucket in the first episode. Was it almond milk or almond water? Uh, it meant to be almond milk. What? It, it was meant to be almond milk. So almond water is almond milk? Mm mm. Episode 1, when I said almond water, I meant milk. Right now, I mean water, which is completely different. Oh, okay. You find it so. out. Back of the so why is almond water forbidden? I don't know, I'm not a- The stop. only place they found almond water, like anything almond related, was in the forest of dishwasher. Anyways, you find a little uh, goblin who's unrelated. Not an octopus. Well, I think we're gonna need to go to the di forest of dishwasher. I don't know. Um, which is very far away. You find a little yeah. goblin who's not an octopus saying, yeah, Also, what's the, what's the name of this area called? I know that there's like- there's a goblin forest, forest, a dishwasher. Brazilia. Like Brazil, but Azalea. Like Azalea plants. Brazilia. Brazilia? What? What? Why? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, you find the goblin and he goes, he's like, back of the store, back of the store, back of the store, while dancing and waving his arms around. Okay, so I go to the back of the store, I guess. You find a bunch of octopuses with like tattoos, Octopus? bandanas. They're all like, with cool sunglasses. Why? And, and they're like, hmm, so you're looking for some almond water, huh? Yeah, so I answer the cool octopi. Well, before you do that, you gotta pass our test. Okay, lots of tests. Go oh. to the octopus warehouse and steal the Is that another area in Brasilia? Yes, and steal... The Goblinian Jewel. Okay, where- it, okay, so I asked them where- so I have a map, alright? Just don't ask. You get a map I, I, in your inventory, it just shows up. Red Dog is nowhere to be seen, but that's not part of your worries. Anyways. What? J don't worry about it, you'll find him. Oh. There's literally no plot relevance, you don't have to worry. <laughs> you got lost in the aisles. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Uh, take a left, turn up, turn back, and then turn back where we were, and you'll find the warehouse. Hold on, what? You take a giant U-turn with a bunch of a bunch of weird steps. Do you walk the weird no physics U-turn? Sure. You went where the back of the store was. You find a giant warehouse. <laughs> you find two guards standing there. Oh, like, I don't think it's a store! John, it's not part of the store. 
There's an alleyway. It says Fred's Alley. Let me just ask you, how how big is the store? Really? It looks really tiny on the inside, but it's actually like the back rooms on the inside. And the warehouse is giant, like a Walmart warehouse. Costco. Oh no. Anyways, you enter, there's two guards like, yeah, we're so cool. Yeah, yeah, we're so cool. We're like the coolest guys ever. And and they're holding a they're holding a car. They're like bench pressing cars, and you find a window, the one window in the building, was, was, and you find a crowbar in your inventory. What do you do? A crowbar? Yeah, you find it in your inventory. What do you do? So can I hit the hit the guards with a crowbar? Um, you feel a presence not to do that. They're like jacked. They're so oh, buff. Okay. I was gonna say, like, is that another, like, They're so buff. I, n I did not write this down. I just been, I'm going as I go, which is fun. Anyways. Oh, so, so this is one of the episodes where you don't have a plan. Yeah. It's gonna be odd, even, odd, even. <laughs> no. Um, I have less of a plan as episode one, but I think it's fun. Also, I'm on a tight budget here. Budget, by budget, I mean ham sandwiches. Anyways. You look at the window. You hold your crowbar into your hand, and you look at the window. What do you do? I look at the window. Well, that's odd. Bread dog shows up. He grabs the crowbar, which is opposable thumbs that he has. <laughs> he throws the crowbar at the window. The glass shatters, but the and he beats up the the the, the super cool dudes. So I guess. I guess Brad Dog is stronger than he looks. He sh uh, he disappears again. Like you're looking at him, and he just. <laughs> Isn't he called Toast Dog now? Yeah. That's his, that's his legal title, not his name. Oh. You named him Bread Dog, but his title is Toast Dog. Remember, you named okay. him Bread Dog. Episode one, you named him that. Oh yeah. yeah. He just disappears. Yeah, he, he just like no clips. He just no clips into the back rooms, I guess. And you enter the store. In the store. It, it's also apparently now that you entered in, the window is shut and it's nighttime. Uh, do, do 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 do. I thought the window broke. Do do do. Yeah. Do do do. The window shattered just that. Do do do. Do do do. All right. So I I go on a quest and I try to steal the thing. You find two of the previously beat up guards that weren't beat up. Apparently, he got un they got unbeat up, and they're standing in front of the jewel like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. and you notice a rope hanging from the ceiling with a few goblins like. Hey, hey, hey. So I grab onto the rope. The guards notice you, and you're like, "Hey, what you doing? <gasps> Intrude!" Not and and, and while you're. Doing that, you notice the goblins are stealing the jewel. What do you do? Fight them or run? Fight them. Um. You roll the five. You punch them. Get just enough time to run towards the jewel. So I grab the jewel and leave as fast as I can. The goblins. Uh, the you as you grab the jewel, the goblins are like. Hiss! What do they do? Run! You run! An arm- <laughs> You find an army of goblins that are orange, apparently. They're orange, and, a, like, five guards running towards you. You jump out of the store, out of the same window, which just, like, turns back into a normal window, and then- Then, uh, one of the guards jumps in, breaks the window, it just unbreaks, and then another guard jumps in, breaks the window. They keep chasing you. What do you Fireball. do? <laughs> You have just enough time to run away. The warehouse is burning. Maybe you should use your U-turn strategy that you know of. U-turn strat. You turn left, up, down, right, A, B. You turn back into the same area and you find the back of the store. And the okay. warehouse is gone. Okay, so I give the cool goblin, uh, the cool Oct octopi. <laughs> you, <laughs> you earn the octopi. It's an item that's a pie. Is that a healing item? Yes. Uh, Octo dash pi. It you have there's eight uses. How much HP does it do? Eight uses for two HP. 
eight uses? Yeah, octopi. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But it's it, five or the eight uses. It's cut into eight slices. Congratulations. Oh, did I lose the pirate's shopping list? Or is that still there? You still have it. You have to give it back to him with all the stuff checked off in here. By the way, Bread Dog's been carrying your groceries this whole time. Oh. He's been a good boy. He's That's right behind fine. you. He's right behind you now. He looks all like kind of. That's nice of him. Funny Rat is nowhere to be seen. I don't know where he's on vacation. This is the oh. second time you've lost Funny Rat. Don't worry. The no plot relevance. Oh. oh, okay. Anyways, he's like, congrats. Uh, follow me. You enter a room with a glass floor with a bunch of- Oh, by the way, what happened to the almond water? Oh. Um. Trust me. Did we find it or not? Trust me. You hand over the jewel in the room, and he presses a button. Here's, um, what is it? Here's your almond water. The floor shatters. Oh. You're in- on, on purpose. A trap door opens, and now you're into the crab pit. What do you do? What? You're in the, the glass floor had a had a room with a bunch of crabs, like a little aquarium. What now the crabs are angry at you. What do you do? What do I even do in this situation? Well, you're in a pit with a bunch of crabs, which a bunch of uh with a bunch of gay octopuses who betrayed you. What? What is going on? <laughs> what do you do? The crabs are coming close! You'll be in that episode ever! Red Dog is worried! He's standing at the corner, licking- Red Dog literally just broke a window! <laughs> he can break a crab! <laughs> He's scared of the crabs. Th their claws are shaped like crescent moons, and Bread Dog is really weak <laughs> against crescent moons. Bread Dog is really weak <laughs> against crescent moons. Also, do I still have uh, the pirate's shopping items? Well, Bread Dog has it. He's making sure it's secure. And what about the shopping list? Do I just not? Bread have Dog's it? holding it. <laughs> His opposable thumbs. He's using Red his. He's what? using his opposable thumbs to hold it. Okay, so those useless Brazilian hamsters, Brazilian hamsters. The so Brazilian hamsters jump out. <laughs> they start beating up the crabs, and what? <laughs> they duplicate. They, they start mitosing, and they form a ladder to get out. You've lost. What? You've lost all of your useless hamsters because they're out fighting the crabs. The useless hamsters crawl up while you're up in the ladder. They f they look at the octopuses, octopi, and they're like, oh no, oh, and they they form a giant a, a hamster mech suit that you need to equip. Okay. You, you're, you change your armor to a uh, hamster mech suit. Hamster mech suit temporary parentheses. Hamster makes you temporary. Mm. Why temporary? Because I'm not gonna make you wear an unstoppable hamster mech suit for episode four. Okay. Okay. You have laser hamster, uh, laser hamster button. There's like laser hamster sword, uh, hamster bow and hamster arrows. What do you do? Hamster sword. You slash them with the hamster laser sword. They all, like, Minecraft die, like, ugh. And second <laughs> one, which is the boss, he's all weak. And he, reluctantly, he hands over the almond water. The hamsters look at the almond water. <laughs> what he does? The hamsters gr all leave your mech suit. You don't have the mech. Armor, what you had before, which I forgot. It's the uh, guard armor. Guard armor. Um... Um, what happens is the hamsters form like a pedestal for you to grab the, uh, the almond water in the- Oh, that's nice. As you- the second you grab it, put- uh, put it in your inventory. Almond yeah. water. Uh. Got it. The hamsters just evaporate. Can I use the almond water? No. Legally, no. Uh, oh. Br Bread Dog jumps and grabs it and makes sure you don't have it. You, uh, you walk, you walk back to that captain dude, and he's like, yo, have you got my groceries? And I tell him, my pet dog has them. Oh, he's like, oh, good. At least someone got them. I'll let your dog go on the boat, but I won't let you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, he thanks you, and you get three tickets 
Uh, I have no two tickets. You find your funny rats already on the boat wearing a pirate outfit. Oh yay! Oh, pirate rat. Pirate rat. Pirate. Pirate rat. Pirate rat. Pirate rat. Because legal name is now pirate rat. Yep. Yeah. Pirate rat ally. Anyways. <gasps> uh, your bread dog grabs a tick. Rat just see Luffy. Yo. Fine. Yo, it's rat just see Luffy. I'm changing that. Fine. Um. Yo. Your dog grabs the, his ticket with his opposable thumbs. He's standing up straight. You grab your ticket with your opposable thumbs. You stand up straight. You walk onto the boat. You check it in. And you hear sea shanties that will be playing in the background when in this video. <laughs> now, in the- QUIET! QUIET! Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Anyways, you hear sea shanties playing. You find a lack of vitamin C everywhere. Uh, you find a bunch of pirates playing, like, tic-tac-toe, I guess? They're playing card games. Uh, and you hear an announcement. Five minutes until the boat launches. Launches? <laughs> five minutes until the boat departs. Five, I repeat, five minutes until the boat departs. You meet up with Funny Rat and you oh, find- Can I get like a cool, cool armor here? Can I get like a pirate hat? You, you equip pirate hat as your armor. Doesn't do anything, I can't. Uh, pirate hat plus five defense. No, n yeah, plus five defense. 18 defense. Nice. Also, my attack has been kind of 23 for a while. Yeah, because that's, that's kind of good. That's, like, really good. Yeah, but, like, still, I'm the, I'm, I'm the main character. Armor doesn't affect it. You need a weapon. Oh, I this... know the armor doesn't. When I got the Duckington staff, it didn't affect my attack, even though now... Oh, oh fine. Up. Plus two. You're at 25 now. Hey, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Anyways, not you complaining. meet up with Funny it's Rat... So you meet up with Funny Rat with a bunch of octopi. You do meet Rat to see Luffy. Pirate Rat. <laughs> you find your Pirate Rat playing solitaire okay. with a, with cards. Solitaire. Yeah, it, with some cards with a bunch of octopi. I mean, said that rats can play solitaire because of the possible oh, thumbs. Oh, you see, Laura. He um. By the way, the, the pirate rat calls one of the octopi's block, which you can do, apparently. <laughs> and, um, you ask if you can join playing solitaire with pirate rat. He says yes, and you team up with pirate rat. Oh, the the okay. multiplayer game Solitaire. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. Mm. By the way, the next five minutes of this is just gonna be you playing solitaire. Okay. Um, so, uh... What do you do? I don't even know how to play solitaire. Uh, you say go fish, and they kick you out of the game. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hold up. They kick you out of the game. Oh my god. You go meet up with Bread Dog, who, who uh, very on brand, f randomly found his hat. <laughs> you found the hat. Now he has pirate hat. <gasps> what should we call him? <laughs> Toast Dog P edition. <laughs> what? I'm joking. Scurvy Dog. What? Scurvy Dog. <laughs> How do you spell that? I don't know. Toast Dog. I'm calling him Toast Dog, but with a, with a dash in between Toast and Dog. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, you find Toast Dog, and what he's doing, you find him on top of a barrel with a bunch of... It's octopi. They're singing sea shanties and he's howling to the beat. What do you do? Oh. I, well, because I can't sing, so I just like, do 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 Exactly. Yeah, I, I you just, just do, you do that and they just, they immediately stop and you're like, Oh, what the shit goes on? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was gritting if you didn't see, but I was gritting. Um, they, they, uh, continue the song. You keep doing that, and you realize there's somebody on top of the sail of the boat, like the giant sail. What you see is also you gotta, you gotta just, just a side note. You gotta keep track of my stats. I haven't increased my speed or level in a while. Your speed goes up to seven because you saw some seventeen because uh, you saw something, and your drip goes up by five because of the hat. 
Yay. Um. I cannot count. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, because of five. I just keep looking at the octopi. That's hilarious. Octopi. Um. You find a, like a small individual on top of the sail, like about the size of like um an apple. Small individual. You find. Is it a person or is it a? You man? find a pi You see like a pirate captain hat. He jumps down and you see Captain Rat. You you look at your you look at your rat and you turn around and find the rat is a completely different person. Wait, so uh, it's not Rat of Luffy? Nope. You find the captain of the ship who was not the octopus, Captain Rat. Spelt Captain Rat. Captain, captain Rat. rat. Spelt with Captain Rat. Rat is his last name. Spelt R A T T E. Captain Rat. Rat. Okay, that's good. That's like a slow rat name. Mm -hmm. Can I see one of my allies like temporarily? Mm. Maybe later. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, he. Uh, he shows, Adam's allies, he shows allies, you like. around, and you get a table which exists. You meet up with Bread Dog and and uh, Pirate Rat. And you all. Oh, so, what, so what does what does Captain Rat do? What what is this attack? He captains the boat. So he doesn't do anything. Uh, not yet, but he what maybe you can persuade him to join in the next episode. So my allies are Toast Dog, Rattusty, Luffy, Tortilla Turtle, and Quacksling. Mhm. Mm the Quacksling apparently leaves your inventory, and now he has a hat. He's still in your inventory because he's your ally, but he just shows up in the real world out of your bag. And he's somehow wearing a hat already. I don't know where he got it. Why is everyone wearing pirate hats? Uh, you, Quacksling, not Tortilla Turtle, he got left behind. What? He said he can't leave your bag. He's stuck in your bag. I thought he was one of my allies. Yeah, he's stuck in your bag, though. He can't get out. He's trying to leave your bag and, and sit down with y'all, but he's too fat. Alright, so I take him out of my bag. You can't. He just gets hurt. I call, I grab my imaginary phone. I call Mr. Snatch the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Snatch the bag. I, I call Mr. Snatch the bag. Yes, Mr. I Snatch the bag. He snatch my tortilla turtle out of my bag. He does it successfully, and he pays you because he really liked that turtle. You get plus two duck bucks. Yo, I get duck bucks. Let's go. Um, let's see. Inventory. Uh, oh, it's really tiny. What? Why is it so tiny? Duck bucks duck buck. times two and fifty cents. Oh, okay. Anyways, you, tortilla turtle, quacksling, pirate rat, captain rat, and your duck. I mean, your not your duck and your dog. How many people is that? One. Hold up, so repeat it again. One, two, all your allies. One, two, three, four, uh, then five, Captain Rat, you, six, and then seven, um, your dog. Hold on, uh, why do I have seven, why do I have six allies? I don't know, you have a lot of allies. Who's, who's my sixth ally? Yourself. Oh, so who's the seventh person? No, you are one, Toast Dog two, um, Toast Dog's two, Quacksling is three, um, Pirate Rat is four, Captain Duck is five, Tortilla Turtle six, and Captain Duck shows up as your friend. And what is his attack? His attack is splishy splashy. Okay. I, I, I almost wrote Slippery Squid. <laughs> um, let me just add Cap. Captain Ratch Ally. His attack is Splishy Splashy. Yeah. And, and a, a goblin that wasn't on the boat, he just kind of showed up. He just. He's, he doesn't say Little Fool. He just, he just like, hey, can I, uh, can I sit here? And no one opposes it except you. No, I don't oppose him. He's a. He's cool. Okay, like you him. don't oppose him. And then all all eight of you eat your octopi. 
Everyone gets a slice. Hey, so do I heal? Uh, you get to full health because of the friends you made along the way. Hey, let's go. Your shield also With goes- With the power of friendship! Your shield goes up I by guess. 8. Oh, nice, so I have max, max HP and max shield. Nice. Yeah! I really like food. With the power of with the power of friendship, my HP is restored. You are uh, you quick saved. The pie was actually a save point. Okay, so that's the end of the episode for mm -hmm. today. And I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time on Squiddy and Fun Guys. See you.